I know last videos I said that the last one was going to be my permanent background for a while, but I really like this one too, so maybe we'll alternate. I'm sure there'll be other ones, but there's just going to be a few now that are going to rotate. Brittany posted on her Instagram last night, so I'm a little behind. I'm going to show you guys those now, so just pause to read. I was scrolling through TikTok and came across one of my favorite creators on here. He was talking about a new interview Kate did about when she was on the Lady Marmalade video with Kristen Aguilar, Maya, Pink, and Miss Elliot. I know this sounds like it has nothing to do with Brittany, but just watch this. And then I'm going to attach another part of a video that goes with this one. And then you'll understand why I'm including this. Why does everyone who has ever met or worked with Christina hate her? In today's episode, Pink, who in a recent interview ranked Lady Marmalade as her least favorite video to make because of a certain somebody. Well, there's Lady Marmalade. I'm going to put that down here at 12. How come? It wasn't very fun to make. I'm all about fun. And it was like a lot of fuss. And there were some personalities. Mm -hmm. Um, Kim and Maya were nice. That only leaves one! And just for comparison, let's take a listen to Pink and how she talks about Britney Spears. I love Paris. Britney. Oh, okay. I think Britney's great. I'm, I think she's... I think she deserves the world, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. She's a good girl. I think Britney Spears is Britney one of the Spears, je pense que c'est une des femmes les plus... I only feel this fierce protectiveness over her for good reason. She's a sweetheart. Um, she's incredibly sweet. All I know is that she's incredibly sweet and I want her to be happy. And there you have it. Oh, Pink ain't having it. After being harassed on Twitter for sharing the fact that she didn't enjoy filming the Lady Marmalade video because of Extina, somebody tweeted, you should be kissing Extina's legendary ass for allowing you on Lady Marmalade. To which Pink responded, y'all are nuts. Extina had shit to do with who was on that song. If you don't know by now, I'm not shading someone by telling it over and over and over what actually happened. I'm 0% interested in your fucking drama. If you haven't noticed, I'm a little busy selling. The response is giving my brother. He's like, well, you didn't know this and he'll pick on me. I'm like, well, I'm too busy selling 50 million records. So, uh, okay. One thing Pink definitely got right, though. The Christina fans are crazy. I even received threatening DMs over the video I made yesterday of Pink's interview clip. It ain't that serious. Britney had been spotted out with Sam last night. The internet right now is going wild. Here are a bunch of photos that were taken up. Breathe me from that night.
Britney have posted to her Instagram. To date, pause to read. My opinion on the whole we have not seen Britney in months is still the same. I really do think she is taking the time to heal. She doesn't owe any of us anything. As her fans, we should respect her space, make fan pages, etc. But let Britney have the time to heal. I found an article the other day called Why Britney Spears Is. Manic Again and the Rise of Weaponist Pop Psychology. It touches on some very interesting ideas. Please keep an open mind when reading this or anything online. We really do not know what is the real truth or not. Pause to read. Do we really want to see a 25-year-old woman leave behind two children and die? Have we learned nothing from Anna Nicole Smith? I know it's hard to see Britney Spears as a human being, but trust me, she is. She's a person. She's like you or I. And I don't know about you, but I know that I would be pretty shaken up right now. Whatever the case of her, whatever the cause of her performance was, I don't care. All I care about is Brittany's well-being. And Brittany, all I want is for you to get well. It's all I want. And what really bothers me is to think of those people out there who don't see her as a person. And if anything ever happened to Britney Spears, the world can kiss my ass goodbye. Because if anything ever happens to her, I'm jumping off the nearest fucking building. I don't care what anyone says. I love Brittany. And if anything ever happens to her, if she ever commits suicide because of a fucking idiot video, I mean, because of a fucking idiot blogger, I will kill myself, too. Wait, well, Brittany. The world needs to know that Brittany still has her fans. Brittany needs to know that she still has her fans. I love you, Brittany. Just know that, okay? Just know that. And how fucking dare anyone out there make fun of Brittany after all she's been through? She lost her aunt. She went through a divorce. She had two fucking kids. Her husband turned out to be a user, a cheater, and now she's going through a custody battle. All you people care about is readers and making money off of her. She's a human! What you don't realize is that Britney's making you all this money and all you do is write a bunch of crap about her. She hasn't performed on stage in years. Her song is called Give Me More for a Reason because all you people want is more, 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 more! Leave her alone! You're lucky she even performed for you bastards!
Fresno and talked about professionalism and said if Brittany was a professional, she would have pulled it off no matter what. Speaking of professionalism, when is it professional to publicly bash someone who's going through a hard time? Leave Brittany alone! Please! <laughs> Leave Britney Spears alone right now! I mean it! Anyone who has a problem with her, you deal with me. Because she's not well right now. <laughs> Leave her alone. Rumors, Britney Spears may be re-releasing her 8th studio album Britney Jean for its 10th anniversary this year along with multiple previously unreleased tracks. Personally I hope the album does better than it did before. Britney did not really promote this album. She was starting her residency in Vegas. The album was not her best but had some really great songs on it. I found this article talking about when Britney was going to be opening up her Vegas show. Pause to read. I just happened to open my Instagram and I happened to see this post from Britney Spears. She must have just posted it within the last few hours. I find it hilarious. If anybody says that it's not her, you know if you're a fan that she does do that really weird British accent and she's quirky. That's why I like her because I could see us being friends. And on top of that, she's like the best entertainer ever. Anyways, here's the Instagram post, along with a caption, and I'm going to attach some screenshots of photos taken from videos that Brittany's done over the last few days, which I think are pretty good. And I'll save the best one for last. Hey, great news this week. Okay, so last week, guys, I made a dress. It's really proud, diamond panel, slip in the back, a girlfriend helped me sew it. They sent me a dress that I didn't have to make myself. <laughs> Think, I can't believe it. I'm just saying. Okay, now I'm so proud. I didn't even have to make it myself. Thank you, company, for sending me this dress. Thank you. So, guys... I just want you to know if I shut down my Instagram, do not call the cops. No, don't ever be a roller coaster. I got this dress as well. Never be a roller coaster! That video that Brittany posted last night is still killing me. She cracked me up so much. So I'm going to post it again in this clip. And then we'll continue on with our news. Okay, so last week, guys, I made a dress. It's really proud, diamond panel, slip in the back, a girlfriend helped me sew it. They sent me a dress that I didn't have to make myself. <laughs> 
I can't believe it. I'm just saying. Okay, now I'm so proud. I didn't even have to make it myself. It's the Thank accents so that always get me. For sending me this dress. Thank you. Shimmy, shimmy. So, guys, I just want you to know if I shut down my Instagram, do not call the cops. So don't ever be a roller coaster. <laughs> I got this dress as well. So, last week, guys. Okay, I've been noticing the pillow in the background. And I don't usually pu uh, pull things out from videos and dissect them and stuff. But I'm trying to figure out, is that Sam on her pillow or is that Brad Pitt? Or maybe it's both. But this is hilarious. I love her. Does anybody know who it is? Guys, I think Brittany might be trolling us. This is a way for her to stay relevant, right? But she also does have a quirky sense of humor. And I, I think she might do this. Again, I don't know her personally. I'm not going to pretend to know her personally. But just from her personality that I've seen and over the years, I can see her doing something like this. Sam actually posted on his Instagram of them, of Brittany giving him a facial. Anyways, here's the videos. Do with them what you will. I'm curious to hear what everybody else's opinion on this particular videos are. What do you guys think? What smells so amazing? It's the cheaper one. Do you want Lemaire though? The more expensive Sure. One? I'm getting a very expensive facial from a... This is an extra $200. Okay. <sighs> Just for this spray is an extra $200. You want the Gardenia Miss? Yes, uh, how much money is that? I'm running out of money. No, this part of the um, I can't afford that. so it's not extra money. Oh, I would love that. That's amazing. Yeah, please. It's a $1,000. Okay. Now we'll let this so far. blow. Thank you. <laughs> Stop doing that. I feel like you're like really trying to make money off of me. No, this is um the, um, this is the like extra... I feel like you're like really trying to make money off of me. No, this is um the um this is the extra case. specialty. This is two hundred dollars extra. It's not part of the treatment. No, thank you. Why not? I want money. Okay, so ready? What? Close your eyes. Okay, see now how fresh and amazing and exhilarating do you feel? Very. Did you yeah. like, did you like the treatment, Mister Escari? Yes. But I'm I'm gonna have to wash the dishes because I didn't bring that much money on me. Okay. Can I wash the dishes? Sure. <laughs> I really hope Sam is genuine and doesn't hurt Brittany. Just like the rest of you. But I'm trying to keep an open mind with him. Because she's really been put through the ringer. <laughs> 